Many people ask me how to write the manual test cases. What are the different columns that you need to have? I know, I know you are a manual tester, probably an automation tester also, but how this is important writing test manual test cases. Let me tell you why it is important to know. This is probably the first question you will encounter even if you are a manual tester or even the automation. In this video, I'm going to discuss about what is the difference between test scenario and test case. What are the essential columns that you should know even as a manual tester or even as a automation tester, how to write these steps? What are the accurate steps? fifth great steps you need to write, how to write the effective titles, effective results and everything. I will be sharing you the examples, perfect copy, which is a perfect test case copy that you can use. What are the different tips that you need to use? I'm going to talk about new AI tools like Browsec AI test management tools, which are help you to generate your test cases via AI, how you can leverage the chat GPT or generative AI to generate the test cases, which are very, very important, which will give you a full coverage. Also cyber side, everything we are going to cover in this video, this is going to be a very short video. So it is very important. Make sure that you watch it till the end. All right. So let's go started. What exactly is a test case? how to write a test case, especially for you guys. All right, let's get started. First of all, what is the difference between a test scenario and a test case? Guys, test scenario is nothing but whenever we say about test scenario, right? Test scenario is the one liner description. What exactly needs to be tested? For example, testing the login functionality, but testing the login functionality can have further test cases. So it can have multiple test cases in this case where test case is basically a detailed step by step process, which basically validate your scenario. So if you remember, let me give you a simple way in this example of this. Okay. Let me share the template with you. First of all, I will share the this template with you that you can basically use. These are the columns, which are very, very important that everyone should know, which is your scenario ID, your test case scenario. First of all, you should have a main page where you will have a discussion. Okay, what is the project name? What is the module name? Who had created this? Who has created this? These are the one liner scenario. For example, testing a login page with valid and invalid. So this is one of the page that we are discussing, which is app.vwo.com. This is a login page that we are discussing. Now, because of this, because of this one scenario, which is a positive scenario that we have, you can have further more test cases. Your test cases should contain the columns like test scenario, test case ID, data, test title, precondition, steps to execute, expected result, actual result, status and executed by who. You can also include priority or is this automated or not automated? That is also you need to basically add, especially in this case. So essential columns, which I have specially mentioned, these are the essential columns that you can figure it out. By the way, this template I'm going to share. Just comment that I need template or just comment template in the chat and like this video. I will share the live link with you. How exactly this is there right now? Interesting thing. This is very, very important. So difference between test scenario and test cases is clear. Essential columns I have already discussed with you. These are the essential columns, which I believe that everyone should know. I have added like this. Okay. This is where you, you can see me. Let me add all of them here. Okay. Which is test case ID associated role requirement ID, everything. By the way, I have already shared with you in the template that you can see now how to write the test step. This is very, very important where all of you, if you're a manual, known IT manual, or even automation tester, you are making mistake, right? The mistake is very important. The main tips that you need to write guys, this is very, very important that I will tell you. First of all, your line or your test case should be like verify X and Y based on Y. If I do X and Y, then Y should happen. This is what exactly how you need to do, which means with the valid name, username and password log login should work. So you should basically add this terminology or this kind of English into your test cases title, which is very, very important. And your expected result will be always like it should happen or something like this. Okay. And your actual result will be in the present test that, okay, this is what happened, right? So verify the user can successfully log in with the valid credential. This is the title that you can have expected result with the valid credentials. User is able to do it expected result or actual Actual result user was able to uh, log in by using this. This is what you should add. So expected results contain should actual result contains the present tense. This is what the very important thing. And many people I have seen people make mistake. Chalo, I'll give you a simple example. Verify that login should work with a valid username. This is the precondition that page is loaded. This is the valid username and password. Navigate to application, enter the username. This click on sign. Login page should work with valid credential. This is should work is expected. Actual is login page is working, which is a present tense that you can basically add. That is the difference between the thing. That is why it is most important that you should add a should in case of expected result and normal present tense in the actual result, which is very, very important. And all these are important. 
executed by priority also you can also say ki who has automated this now browser stack has already created a test management platform i don't know if you guys already know this you can create a project this is one of the project that i have specially created in this project you can write your test cases and you can generate the test cases via ai also if you have a paid plan they will let you generate your through ai also but since we are using chat gpt we already know i have already covered by in the generative ai series i'm pretty much sure all of you have seen it link in the description generative ai series how you can generate even your test cases is so you can use this prompt right for example this is one of the uh, link which you, you can use this is one of the website which is a source demo and for this page suppose i want to generate a test case what i will do is i will take a screenshot also cyber side and i will add here also that this is a screenshot now update based on this login page okay and i have given you a what is this i have also given you some kind of prompt also that okay given the feature this is a user story user should be able to log into e-commerce website screen field you will see this is the one this is the one and now you can see it will basically create a login test cases for you especially a special test cases in a jira format it can create it can create in multiple formats you can generate them into a table or a jira format also for example if you tell them to generate in a table tabular format which basically gives you which you can export directly into jira it will do it for you this is one of the login based scenario that it has generated you can copy and directly copy to your jira board that you now you can use it and this is the interesting part that which i recommend by the way uh, something is broken in the chat gpt but again it has given you exactly so this is how you write your test cases manually plus by using the generative ai now you have two options with the maximum number of coverage guys you leverage the ai's leverage the important things one interesting thing people will say ki sir but chat gpt is we are not allowed to use then you can use local llms there are many free local llms which are available you can download local local studio.ai you can use anything llm where you can learn deep seek free deep seek lamba and even mistral on your computer and that you can basically use to generate your test cases i am pretty much sure most of the companies generally those allow which is offline i i generally call this not a offline actually but it's kind of a local llms or local llms that you can basically you can download it and you can run it deep seek by the way i have uh, anything llm where i am running my own deep seek where generally which whichever which basically also i use it no data is going to us or even china <laughs> so this is what you can do i hope this helps but how to install deep seek and everything i have already created in one of the video if you want to watch it uh, you can just go to google how to install uh, deep seek locally right you can go to digital data ai this way and here i have explained uh, how easiest way to run your deep seek on the this one so how to you can run deep seek, deep seek locally also you can watch this video available on digital data ai subscribe the new channel also guys Sub do support i'll definitely help you thanks for watching i hope this helps guys new batch of these as that uh, weekend batch is already launched make sure you check it out job ready automation tester where we are learning java api and selenium in the span of 100 day challenge 100 day challenge where we are learning java selenium and uh, these things we are creating our own framework by using the ai and we are i am teaching everything by using the ai especially generative ai and everything which is also included plus playwright with java as a self paced course is also part of it make sure if you are interested do check it out link in the description become a part of it live batch you are learning with me i will be guiding you throughout 3 to 4 months how you can switch yourself from manual fresher or no 92 and automation engineer we have done it lot of people last year more than 700 people i have basically helped uh, to switch into the automation if they can do it i am pretty much sure all of you can do it also just check it out all the people who have basically switched to automation i'll see you thanks for watching all the resources if you need in the description just comment resources and i will share the template all the links and one more thing qa job fit is already ready guys qa job fit where you can check your resume with the scores and everything you can check if you upload your resume and everything you will be able to check your resumes and everything create a free account and check it out this is one of the free utility i have specially created for you where, where you can basically upload your resumes and you can get it checker and you can even take your live interview also by this okay do check it out do let me know the feedback how exactly you can do it thanks a lot bye bye i'll see you in the next video